All right, guys, so I'm going to do a review of the Hobart Betamig 200. Um, I've had this thing for about a year now, <clears throat> and I absolutely love it. It's 200 amp transformer based uh, MIG welder. I paid 300 bucks for it, I think, and it came with the Tweco 10 foot gun and a, that size bottle of C25. When I bought it, I didn't have a way to test it, so it was kind of a gamble. Uh, because the guy that I bought it from didn't have 220 in his shop and as you can see it looks like at one point it got pretty warm uh, inside like right here you can see this it's all heated up the cord got warm it looks like that kind of got hot I don't know what happened I don't know if it got rebuilt pretty sure the kid I bought it from sold it to me so that he could go buy something to uh, snort up his nose but that's neither here nor there so I love this thing man I I uh, I use it pretty much on a regular basis and it'll weld thin stuff pretty well um, you get down to like I think the lowest on the on the settings that I usually go is like four or five. I, don't, I just don't run across the need to weld anything smaller than that. It does. It's not an infinite volt voltage control, but you know it's easy enough to figure out. Um, and I'll turn it on so you can hear it. I mean, it's pretty quiet for a machine built in the 80s. It also has a spool gun, which I don't have, and I wish I did because I could actually use one on the job I'm doing right now. Um, but it is, you know, that's just kind of another feature. Uh, if you guys ever are looking for a shop uh, MIG for a, a reasonable price, um, I mean, three to five hundred bucks for these is pretty fair, I think, without a bottle of gas. And uh, man, you know, you, you know, do your do your research. But I I did a fair about a bit of research before I bought it. And everybody that I asked said that they were great shop machines and that they used them for years and they lasted forever. So I love this thing. Um, and then so it's a 200 amp machine and it's got a 1 through 9 setting on the front. And then uh, what you do in here is this is your low, your low heat. And so that'll go on your low side, it'll go 1 through 9. And then you switch it over to this lug for your uh, high 1 through 9. And it'll show you up here what you're, you know, what you're doing. There's your polarity, and then your low and high um, shows what polarity to run for what stuff. There's some wiring diagrams up there. It's pretty cool. It's in pretty good shape. Um, and then your the chart. So the reason I have this out or I'm pulling this apart today is because um, I have like a three and a half foot cord on there and it's just not enough to get me out to what I need to work on so I'm gonna pull pull the cover open and uh, rewire or add like a 10 foot cord so let's get uh, let's get started all right so there's what it looks like inside the machine and the cord goes in here and it's these three right here so we're gonna pull them out I'm gonna add some uh, but, or connectors on there so it'll go right in and then uh, we'll swap the plug out. Alright, so what I have to do is I have to take these I have to cut this here and wire nut it to this new one this new old one because I don't have the right size connectors to go on this thick of cable now this isn't the right way to do it and I don't like doing it this way but since I'm the one using this machine and I'm the one doing it I'm gonna wrap it in electrical tape that's rated at 600 volts and I'm gonna wrap it several times um, I'm okay doing this. This is not something that I would recommend to do at home unless you're confident that you know what you're doing. Uh, if you don't do this right and you have two wires touching or the hot wire, this is 220, so you have two hot wires. Either one of these were to come loose and touch the side of the case, you could cause serious 
damage to your machine and you could potentially burn your house down. So don't do this unless you know what you're doing. All right, so now we're gonna take this plug, put it on here. Pretty simple, three wires, two hots and a ground. So let's uh, th slap that on and then we should be good to go. All right, got it all back together. I didn't film the rest of that plug because uh, I didn't think you'd wanna hear me talking about your mothers like that and that thing was a whore. So, really stupid design. I don't know why people do, why people gotta be so stupid. So, it's back, I'm gonna plug it in, and then we're gonna get to cranking some, putting some wire down in this trailer. Yeah, having that long cord there is gonna work great. I can get this thing out in the driveway where I can work on stuff. Plus I got the 10 foot gun, so that makes it even nicer. Be able to reach a long way with this thing. All right guys, uh, just a little bit of welding and doing some tinkering around with the machine. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you uh, subscribe and uh, comment. If you guys have a, a Hobart or you're looking for one, comment, uh, put something in the comments that you've had it and that you, you know, what your experience was with it or, uh, you know, good and bad if you're looking for one and you're, you're, you have any questions. Uh, you're more than welcome to get a hold of me. I, uh, I, like I said, I absolutely love this thing. I've had it for close to a year now. So thanks for watching, guys.